Last week on Saving Lady Africa, we put in our door and secured her in place and did some test runs on what colour windows we'd like to install. So we're also starting on these front lockers. And as you can see, not very clean, quite dirty. Got a bit of a leak coming on that side. We're going to grind them down and give them a good, good paint again. That's the top deck that's just dirt that's on there. But I know that those chain, the chain locker around that edge always gives shit that it rots because of the guys drill it like that and they don't seal it off. So we're going to check everything, take all of that, take these two hatches out, do the repair, grind inside here, prepare it for new layer of pull coat. There's the bottom of the chain protector or deck protector, whatever you want to call it, for the chain guy. I guess holding cylinder holders. Some homemade thingy but it looks pretty solid taking off those hatch lids and we're gonna repair them remove those fittings that are there because it didn't seal them nicely and they're leaking inside showing these like those little rust trail lines that comes from when guys don't seal it properly so we're gonna take it out fix it put it all back in properly yeah we've got some nice big some nice storage lockers so there's that price precise example that I'm saying it's no seeker flex no butyl tape, so we're taking them off. We're gonna refit new ones in with some proper Seeker Flex and Butyl or Seeker Flex or Butyl tape. It's probably gonna go for Butyl tape. I found that works better. It's been a big week, but we've got ice creams and a cheeseburger, Nemos. Yeah, okay. We're showing the ice cream. Thank you very much. Okay. Cheers. So. If I look through the tent, I can look straight out. And if I look through the clear, I can't because the sun is in my eyes. So I think the verdict will be the tent. But we did a poll on Instagram, and a lot of people who own boats said tent. So I think it was tent for a reason. So I think we're going to go with tent. Yeah, the tent's good. As nice as the clear is to look out, I think. The tent is gonna just be more practical. And yeah, let's show them. That's just one glass. You know, and there's so much light coming yeah, in. We have a lot Imagine of when you turn all of that into clear. It's gonna be like. So we're just taking off all the fittings on the side here so that we can polish it up and then make sure everything's still good. We've taken out these two hatches and we've taken out all the all the fittings that go on the deck because they a lot of them weren't sealed. So we're gonna seal up what needs to be sealed and take off those two front ones. Check if there's any repairs that need to be done on the outside. We're grinding inside there so we can put a fresh coat or full coat in there in both of these hatches so it will look nice and new and that we can see if there's any problems underneath the old full coat, make sure that nobody did a patch job or something like that. Then we're going to take off this whole front, the entire front rail with all of this and inspect all of that stuff too. I'd rather do it now than later find there's a problem there. At least like this, we haven't left any stone untouched. Does she fit? She fits. We got the shelves ready made. Fiber glass in. Hope the last come up.
So I use the Allen key just to initially get it loose. Moses is holding on the on the bottom side. Once she's loose, we take the machine. So that's the setups. That's the top plate. It's got a following back plate for the front to, to hold the... I suppose if you want to fly the spinnaker off the front you can, but it will run off the back. But still, to tie any lines off, that's so freaking strong. Eh? That's seriously overkill, but we'll leave it like that because it's there and it's as well done. So. Some serious deck repairs going on. So underneath here I want to close off all the holes that's here because um, we're going to get a new windlass so I need a proper place to secure that these areas are so common to go rotten um, because guys just drill the hole for the chain road and they never seal it up nicely or any bolts for that fact so they'll just drill little holes like over there that one is leaking that one is leaking all of those were leaking and so then you've got a problem I guess and these Dean cats are super thick glass but let me show you what it looks like underneath. So yep, a rotten core. And it's exactly where the chain area goes through. So if you guys got a hole like that, make sure that you dig it out, uh, fill it in, seal it off, and you won't have this problem. Over on this one, we're busy taking out all of those fittings. There's one out already. Recess it. Uh, gouge it out with uh, Allen key, a chopped off Allen key, or otherwise you can just make your own little tool that can go in there and take out the material. Then we'll close it from the bottom with uh, some masking tape and we'll fill all of those up with resin. And we'll do it to that one, we'll do it to that one, we'll do it to those ones, and we'll do it to all of those. I don't want any deck fittings that, that's into core. If it's straight into fiberglass, it's not as bad, but if it's into core, and those are going to become solid fiberglass instead of cord. That one too, solid fiberglass instead of cord. This is the Allen key looks like that. This is an old beat up Allen key and this is why I'm going to use it. So I'm going to trim it short over here. And then I'll sharpen this edge up so that it can go in the hole like this. Okay, and then it's going to spin around and then clean that hole. So there we've got the fitting off. We fit one of these and it's pretty much just a countersunk cutting tool. And there you got the four holes, so what we want to do is... So then you take it and you just want to... So what happens is the butyl tape will fill into there and will form a better seal. And then we're going to stick the Allen key in and we'll clean that. The, the internal core out a little and then we'll fill it up with resin. So we've got a little modified Allen key and that's pretty much what it's going to do in the hole. Except we'll do it at that speed. So what we've created is it'll be glass and then glass and then the wood core. We're literally just creating a little recess there where the if uh, resin can fit in there and create the plug and then we'll drill it afterwards again so this is where our inner four stay base is so we're just cleaning everything up there nicely with acetone we've taken off all the base material that was there and we'll be reapplying it with butyl tape and uh, securing everything nicely again and sealing it off so if you can have a look we countersunk everything like that using one of these tools and that will be for the butyl tape to go into those little holes and I'll show you what happens it squeezes in there nicely and we also put run some around there around the, the screw and that will seal it from the top so it'll have a seal there it'll have a seal at the bottom on the plate going down and that's it so what we do is take the screw Here's the butyl tape, put it around there, here's the thickness and I just stretch it out a little bit and then I just wrap it up like that, so it looks like that, it's probably overkill on there, 
And as we tighten down that butyl tape will squeeze out the side and will also seal that water doesn't go in between here and the stainless steel plate. And then underneath the plate we run a second one around the screw. So that's the plate there. Put it through there. Then I run a second wrap around the screw. It doesn't have to be a lot, but I mean whatever's excess will just push out the side and will flatten it up. So that's what you do. And then we stick it flat it in. Uh, what this also gives us opportunities to take out your chain plates, it's essential. Inspect, clean them up nicely. You want to see that there is no cracking surface, cracking will be a minute little thin crack. You want to inspect that nicely. But everything looks good on this one and on the surface up top there is nice and clean. This will all get polished at a later stage. And for now we're going to go put it back in. So that's what we've done. Around all four screws. On both sides. And on the base there. And that will go onto that. So there's a cavity, you want to make sure that that piece is also nicely filled up once you press everything and tighten everything down. We've sanded so much that we have to replace. How many times have we replaced these things? This is the second set now. So, Ricky painted our shelf and it looks sweet. We completed the build up and epoxing of our door frame, so now it was just minor adjustments that needed to be made and she could be epoxied in. So sorry that I didn't film the whole process, but um, there's the front cabin core replacement done. Uh, so where you can see light is coming through there, that's areas that we've grinded out on the outside. So we threw the gel coat on the outside and uh, we'll repair that from the outside. But the core's in, we've sealed it in. We both had to lie in here and try and get all the layers in, but that's four layers of 450, uh, 410 by axle on there. So. So myself and Moses are starting to polish up the stainless and what we're actually trying to get is all the scratches there, it wasn't well built. So all the scratches we want to get out. And uh, we're doing the first cut still. And I'm just finalizing up the door frame there for the to put in the new seal. We took out the automotive seal uh, because of the gap clearance was too thick. Um, it looked good and it sealed well but it, the door wasn't getting flush flush with the frame and I wanted it to be flush so changing that idea and Moses on the other hand he's busy doing the first cut on the stainless steel for the polishing you can see that frame we've already done some work on it that had a bit of an overcast day we've had like three days of kind of bad weather so we haven't been able to do much fiberglassing and finishing up the front that we've been wanting to finish but hopefully next week looks like we're going to have a sunny week so we'll be able to finish out the rest that's going on there. So there's the new door frame. Just finished completing it. Some nice epoxy fillets along the edge there, sanded them down. So once the door is closed, it looks like that. We take off that film, it's a clear door that, that's on there. It's a nice polycarb door. And because it's there, it doesn't get a lot of UVs, so it should last for quite a number of years. And we've got the two latch lock system. And just below that one, and just above that one, we'll put our handles. It's going to have a double handle system. And then the seal that goes right around on the inside of the frame. The, the, the three hinges. So we'll just give it a epoxy primer. And then we'll probably give it two coats of epoxy primer and three coats of top polyurethane just because it's a door entryway and it's going to take a lot of traffic so yeah 
over there we're gonna seal that up nicely again with some epoxy primer and then we'll probably put three coats on there and then we're gonna put a top wearing mat down on there so that would make it last longer and not wear down. Stay tuned till next week where we polish up some of our stainless steel and get down and dirty with the repairing of our deck. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below if you haven't already and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up because it helps us out a lot. Thanks to our awesome new patron, Warren Mangan. Your support means a lot to us. If you would like to join our amazing patron family and get behind the scenes footage of what we're up to every week, a link is provided in the description below.